And welcome back, everyone, to part six of One of Naruto, Hazanpakuto, the Minazuki edition. So last time, we basically had Naruto and Gara basically duke it out. Naruto won. The third died. They had his funeral. Everyone's kind of where we are at that point in the story. Like, everyone's now morning just trying to rebuild, and Jirai is about to take Naruto to go find Tsunade. Well, obviously, Itachi and Kasame are also hanging around. Uh, now... At this point, Naruto is just doing his thing, kind of hanging around a little bit, helping out when he can, too. He hasn't spoken to Minazuki since, um, since basically the fight with Gara. Like, he, I mean, Minazuki and him will have conversations, still talk a little bit, but Naruto's been surprisingly, uh, has been surprisingly radio silent with Minazuki for a little bit. And Minazuki is finding this a little odd but and concerned, but at the same time, Minazuki thinks it knows why Naruto is doing this. So at one point, before we get to Jiraiya, you know, coming to recruit Naruto, Minazuki confronts, uh, talks to Naruto, you know, while Naruto's asleep, because that's the time Naruto really can't ignore Minazuki at that point. And, Naruto, and Minazuki's like, you, you've been distant, Naruto. What is wrong? Uh, it's, it's nothing. It's just, and then Minazuki just looks Naruto in the eye, even though Naruto can't see the face. Like, you're wondering why, uh, what you felt for me when you slayed that man, aren't you? And Naruto kind of just... Mm. And Kurama normally is just... Uh, will interrupt or, you know, give his own two cents. Because he doesn't like either. He's too really at the moment. But at the but that said, now he's listening intently. Because, like, this is an interesting conversation. It's like, hmm. Uh, it's like, okay, interesting. What's going on here? And... And Naruto's like, yeah, I knew, I knew I'd have to kill someone. I was even prepared to kill Haku that time. But when when I took the my blade, when you hit that guy, I felt something cold and an almost glee, like cold joy coming off you. I I don't know what that is. And Miyazuki stays silent for a little bit, and then just looks. D let me. Add. There once, uh, there's much you know, still don't know about me, Naruto. About my true power. What you have right now, the uh, the form you, I take when you summon me is called the Shikai. But there's my true power is released in a new in a form beyond that, known as called the Bankai. Uh, ba Bankai. What? What, uh, what? What do you mean with true power? And Naruto and the music is like I am a I'm a sort of duality, Naruto. Two two uh, juxtaposed ideologies melded together, and that's kind of what Mizuki is. Its base form seems to be, or base form, its Shikai form seems to be about healing, whereas the Bankai clearly seems to be about death and the decay and destruction. So, uh, Naruto's like, well, 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 but I mean, if I learned to control, it's like, uh, control you wouldn't be that that dangerous but to uh, to your uh, to your enemies. Yes, I would, but to your ally and even maybe even to your allies. Uh, I am not something to be wielded lightly, Naruto. It's like, no, wait, and then it's, I believe it's time for you to wake up. Or they, wait, there's more I need to know. It's like, you're, but you're not ready. Do not fret, Naruto. You're not ready for such power at this time. And so Naruto obviously wakes up. It's like, ah, darn it all. It's like, what was that about? And, you know, he goes off and goes through his, his day. And finally, you know, Naruto... Jiraiya finds them. He's like, hey, kid, you want to come training with me? I'll teach you. Gotta go find Tsunade. I'll teach you a cool technique. He's like, cool! And, you know, he goes off. Uh, and so, he and Jiraiya go out the, go out into the village. Obviously, the whole Itachi thing goes down the same. Uh, Itachi and Kasame. Kashi gets uh, KO'd temporarily. Sasuke goes out and runs after them. And really, there's there's not much that's really different here. Uh, like, literally at all, leading up until when Itachi and Kasame basically reach the door. Now, except for the fact that Naruto is meditating and knows how to actually properly meditate. And he's trying to basically see if he can get Mizuki to talk more about what Bankai is, what that means. Mizuki ain't giving that up right now, just because, you know, Naruto... <laughs> he's, the, Mizuki basically all just says, you're not ready for it. You, and all you need to know is, to, in order to access, you're going to have to make me submit, but it's got to be on my terms. And I'm not, t and I'm telling you right now, you, you're not there. Besides, there's someone at the door. And so Naruto goes, like, Naruto, we want you to come with us. And obviously Naruto is pretty terrified. Uh, and, and Naruto can't even really do much with Minazuki. 
Um, I mean, he can draw his sword and fight Kasame to some degree, but Kasame's a master swordsman with a chakra-eating sentient scaled blade monster sword. And even if Naruto summoned Minazuki, he'd destroy the entirety of this building, and Naruto's not stupid enough to do that. So Naruto is just like, oh, what the hell am I going to do? And then Sasuke shows up, obviously, um, gets completely, you know, messed up. He's like, Sasuke, and he summons the fox's chakra. That's when Kasami shows up. Naruto does actually block with the sword, surprisingly. Just bing, but it sort of sucks out of his chakra. I was like, hey, so now, you do know how to use that thing. That was a pretty good block, too, kid. But unfortunately, I guess you're you're going to be trouble. Probably should just shave off your legs. Make sure you don't go running. And then Jiraiya shows up, and everything's all well and good there. And so you lead yourself into now the Naruto training with the Rasengan, basically, arc. Uh, now, Naruto's chakra control is better here than it is in the original, because he's had time to, you know, work on chakra. And techniques that would uh, at least increase his chakra control to a certain degree. Unfortunately, I still think Naruto in this version, unlike, say, in other versions, is very much not capable of doing a one-handed Rasengan, let alone, uh, or not capable of doing a standard two-handed Rasengan, at least not as easily, um, than, let alone a one-handed Rasengan. I still think he struggles the same way he did originally, so he does that, does that, then he, then he, uh, blows up the ball, which I think he handles that a bit more effectively. I do think that. Um, and would I say, do I think he needs a clone to basically make the chakra or make, or you know, make the Rasengan here and compress the chakra? I, like I said, I think his chakra control is better, but I do think he may still need the clone's help in this case. This isn't like with Ichibei where he's not, or Ichibei, Ichimanji where he also started studying seals, things like that, which increases his chakra control uh, to a much greater degrees. No, this is not that. This is Naruto, uh, basically, because he had to practice with the Shadow Clones or practice for so long, increased his chakra control unconsciously, but not to a level that I think he could be able to do to Rasengan normally. Moving on, you get to him uh, basically seeing meeting Tsunade and uh, Shizune, uh, and I just realized I'm getting through this arc fast because not a lot changes. No, I'm sure also Jirai tells him about the fourth. You know, that was my, he was my best student. Yeah. You'll remind me a lot of him. Because you're a son. No. But, but no. But, um, and obviously Tsunade has that stu outburst. And Naruto's outburst, I think, is still about the same. Anytime he's got a Zanpak toe that isn't, like, coinciding with his base personality in the, um, in the original. Like, for instance, whenever he gets a Zabimaru, oh, his, his personality is going to be the exact same. I have no doubt about that. Whenever he gets, um, say, Hozuki Maru, uh, Maru, oh yeah, his personality will be the same. Minazu, other Zanpak Toe, which obviously are a lot more mature, more powerful, um, and just have, like, older spirits that are just designed, based off of, or, or derived from characters who are just a lot more naturally intelligent and not in rationalized in, uh, situations, will have a more positive effect on its personality. Here, Naruto still snaps, but isn't that, like, Charlie's stuff? It's more that he looks her in the eye and just calls her flat out on, like, bullcrap. She's like, who the hell do you think you are? And it's like, uh, talking about the third that way. You think just because you, just because you've been through some crap means you get to talk about shit about everyone else? You're nothing but a cowardly old lady. It's like, a cowardly old bro old broad, or old bag, and just, you know, Sunai just gets, it's like, you want to take this outside, right? Let's go. And it's like, what makes you so touchy about Hokage? And I, I'm like you, it's my dream, I admire them, I plan to be Okage, believe it, and she sees Nawaki there. Now, Naruto still kind of gets his ass kicked here, because Naruto's not going to draw Minazuki on Tsunade, even though, from what Naruto's heard, she's pretty much the best medic in the world, so even if he were to cut her, it probably wouldn't mean much. Um, and sure enough, she starts beating the crap out of him, so he does actually pull his blade out, and she actually has to just, she grabs it basically with her finger, using some chakra, and it doesn't manage to cut her finger, but she's like, uh, she's like, damn it, you managed to cut my finger, don't look at it, don't look at it. And Naruto's not quite paying attention to exactly how she's reacting, but I do think she is uh, more than capable, uh, or he's capable of at least capitalizing where it counts. He tries the Rasengan again, it fails, and you get the, you get the whole, oh, why, why give it to a kid who can, uh, teach someone who can never master it? Oh, give me three days, I'll have it down, no problem. Uh, I might just hold you to that. I'll give you a week, and if not, I'll even throw on my necklace as collateral. I'll give you a week, and then I get to keep froggy if you lose.
And so Naruto goes to practice, you know, the whole time. Again, Naruto's not stupid when it comes to his sword, particularly the type of Zanpakuto he has. He's not going to summon a giant, like literally a giant building-sized manta ray in the streets. So anyway, uh, you know, Sonate then, you know, um, <laughs> just, she slipped him a Mickey. Uh, she slips Raya the Mickey, uh, drugs Raya. She goes, confronts Orochimaru and the gang, and she chases after him. Now, someone asked, would Minazuki be able to cleanse Jiraiya from the toxins in his body, from the drugs? And my answer is no, because we have no evidence to suggest that Minazuki doesn't it works that way. That it works in the sense that it can clean, it can not only heal wounds, but like detox your body. Um, there's no evidence to suggest that, only that it's a healing type Zanpakuto in the traditional sense. Now, it's not impossible that Minazuki could do that, but I, it's just not something... Plus... We don't know how long it would take for Minazuki to uh, do that. And it's, so it's just not a feasible thing to be doing at this time. Um, so anyway, they, they you know, run off. They eventually meet up with the... And they actually... I think they actually fly on Minazuki uh, to get there. And, you know, they land... And all of a sudden, just as Tsunade is about to get attacked by Kabuto, they hear them... And <laughs> Minazuki comes in... Uh, not not bad, kid. Thanks, Minazuki. Hey, are you okay? Uh, are you okay, lady? Are you okay, are you okay Uncle Granny Tsunade? He's like, don't call me that, bro. What are you doing here? So, it's okay. It's like, what is that thing? Oh, this is Minazuki. He can heal you up if, 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 if uh, she, uh, Minazuki can heal you up if you like. And, uh, just get out of my way. And get in, in you, Tsunade. He's like, oh, get out of my way. It's like, all right, fine, whatever. No, Naruto, it's all right. And he just seals Minazuki up. Because combat-wise, even though Minazuki can kind of do some stuff, it's not a combat based on Bokto and Shikai. I, I, I always have to reiterate that, even though I've come up with a couple ways where um, it could be used in combat. Like, yeah, I just don't see it being that effective, at least not in the traditional sense. Naruto still has a, but it still allows Naruto to actually have a sword. And so obviously, uh, Kabuto, Orochimaru, and Jiraiya square off. Uh, Summoning Jutsu! Hey, everybody! Coming in, you were the hell's your father! <laughs> Uh, Jiraiya, you really are good for a laugh. Um, now here's something that's a bit different, though. Naruto's had a lot of time to practice with the summoning jutsu. Uh, he's actually had a fair bit more time than initial, than, uh, what he initially had. Uh, because he actually got it down relatively early. So, when Naruto says, I'm not gonna let him soak the old man, and he just focuses his chakra, and even, you know, put the, uh, Siphon's little Fox Chakra in there. He thinks of a toad, because he's now gone through a bunch of them, not just Kamabunta. It's like, uh, 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 yo, uh, old man, or Purvy Sage, you want the old chief toad? Boom! <laughs> yeah. yeah, Naruto. He, uh, so he learned that jutsu. Uh, if he's learned to ma uh, you think I can master it? It's not impossible if he can learn to sort of Fox's Chakra. And then all of a sudden, Ugh! Uh, but, which it seems he may, he might be on the way to do and this guy's a much more bit like a, oh, this isn't good as it uh, dry up, you brat what are you what am i doing here on oh, the Maru, that slimy snake uh, i get uh, i'll take it from here naruto it's like all right, right uh, go look after sonate right uh you know he goes down he he's trying to help out as best he can get the blood off her Kabuto, bring me mana, and then deal with them down below. <laughs> right, yes, Lord Orochimaru, and then summons Manda. Uh, why did you summon me, Orochimaru? Uh, uh, it's, it's okay, Lord Manda, you'll be well compensated. What can you possibly offer me? Pa! <laughs> uh, and so Manda and Gambunta are squaring off. Naruto's down there. It's like, Kabuto, go after Tsunade. Dad, we'll take care of this. I'm gonna pop you like a balloon, you dirty old toad. It's like, well, please, then try it. I've always wanted a snakeskin wallet. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> just, I just like that. The three-way deadlock, man, that's just a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> then the badgers, I need some oil, but I need a quarter. Um, <laughs> voice, voice impressions for you, folks. Um, and so they're duking out on their own. Lots of, you know, boom, boom, kaiju fighting going on. Um, and unfortunately, because Katsuya is not there and Tsunade is still struggling, this actually puts Gamabunta now at a bit more of a disadvantage. Although, if you really dare to ask me who I think would win, it would be Gamabunta overall. Gamabunta is the only one we actually know who had jutsu, had a weapon, and has hands. So, and can jump a lot higher than Mana can probably move. Mana still 
extremely dangerous, especially Monda 2.0, which basically was an upgraded version Kabuto made from the corpse of Monda, but still. Uh, anyway, Naruto is, uh, you know, Kabuto is, Kabuto is like coming up, it's like, well, it's like, well, Monda and Monda Rosemar are taking care of that. It looks like it's time to just end this right now. And then, and then uh, Shizune is like, I got to keep an eye on Tsunade. I've got her. It's like, but Shizune, I said, uh, no, I said, I've got this Naruto. And, you know, she fires the needles. It's like, uh, yeah. She fires the smokes. Like, well, look at this. I'm a dead man. It's like, I got, I got you. Come on. I got, I got you. And then, you know, Shizune's, you know, ankles get tatted, cut, basically severed. Not really severed, but chakra scalpeled. And, you know, now it's Naruto versus Kabuto. And, you know, he's, he, he shing. And it's like, come on, Naruto. We both know you ultimately can't take me on. What's what's the point of just uh, what's the point of fighting here and dying? Your dream can't come true. Otherwise, if I kill you here, so just step aside and let me do what needs to be done. Uh, and Naruto's just like looking at looking at Tsunade. He's like, hey, go. And she's just shuddering. She doesn't even. She's not even like worried about him at the moment. Although she is worried. Just he's just a kid. But uh, and I was like, yeah, screw. And he all of a sudden he makes him close. Screw you! You just throw it all away! Dreams can't come true if you're dead! And, you know, Naruto just um, comes in. And to be fair, Naruto is able to keep him at some level of a distance, thanks to Minazuki. Um, you know, he's wielding his blade. He's And because he's actually had a significant amount of training now, he's actually something that... Me, he's a skilled enough now that Kabuto legitimately actually has to pull Kunai out and block and dodge. And he's like, Ugh. he's got how, how much better... Uh, how much more capable has he gotten with the swords since the last time I saw him? And Naruto is actually able to keep him on the back foot. And, uh, it's like, uh, and, then, and then Naruto, uh, and then Kabuto just throws a smoke bomb. Chakra scalps them. Naruto makes another clone. And basically, you know, it does what he does in the original, basically. He just, uh, you're through! It's like, got you! And then Naruto just, uh, basically gets the kunai straight through his hand, which I believe is what happens in the manga. In the anime, they basically do it that he catches it. It cuts his hand, but he catches it and just holds Kabuto's uh, hand there. It's like, your hand's a gun. You're finally got you, you slippery bastard. bastard. Uh, press that chakra, keep it going. Press it going. Just blast him. And of course, he gets hit. And he could summon Mizuki to save him, but unfortunately, it's just one of those things where it's like, he doesn't ha he's not even aware of what happened. Just, uh, uh. It's, uh, uh, swallow, mean, uh, and he's just, uh, and then obviously Tsunade comes over and says, like, no, no, don't die, don't die. And then obviously Bunta and, uh, Bunta and Manda's fight kind of comes to a standstill. A child mastering a jutsu like that, impossible. As, and then uh, don't die. It's like, what, he's still alive? Like, yeah, I won the bet. <laughs> and so is you. Because they'd be Okage, that's your dream. And then finally she stops the shaking, because now she's protecting Naruto, that's how she overcame it. And she's and she just, dead! Dead, just like, your ass is grass, look to Rochimaru. It's like, ugh! Summon a jutsu! And then Katsu is there, oh, it's been a while, Katsu! Ugh! Now I could take him on myself, but why not, why not, um... Why, uh, I'm trying to think exactly what he, uh, what the line would be in this case. But why hog all the fun? And then, you know, obviously, Tsunade and Katsuya join in. And Emon is on the back foot. Like, he's, he's already been struggling with Bunta, who's not an easy opponent. Rochimaru and, um, Jiraiya are also both tired. But surprisingly, it's Tsunade who is actually pretty fresh from the fight. Or fr fresh for the fight. Because she did, like, waste her time a little bit with Kabuto. But she hasn't been using her Genesis Rebirth. She hasn't been using any excess chakra beyond that. So she's actually got quite a bit, a decent amount of chakra left. She's still on the tire side, but she's not going to end up wasting her illusion to change her appearance in this case. So she comes in, ultimately cracks Orochimaru, and I still don't think she would be able to kill him, sadly. But I think she nearly knocks him out cold. He's like, he's like punch struck his book. Right, Lord Rochimaru. And he's, he's able to come to it just love and say, I will have the secret to immortality. Just you wait. And he just kind of like, he finally passes out. Um, Because Kamen there trying to heal him up. And so, you know, Naruto is okay, ultimately. He's passed out, though. She is, she doesn't revert to her actual appearance. She reverts to, she kind of just stays as she is. Um... 
And ultimately, yeah, it, it, it ends when, you know, Naruto says she's going to be Okage. They have her face off. She puts the headband. She just gets, puts the headband a little bit. And then she gives him the kiss on the forehead. And all's well that ends well. She goes back, heals up Sasuke. la di da da So at the 20-minute mark, I think we can at least dr- address the next part what's happening here. So Sasuke obviously is... And he's bound up in the hospital for the time being. But is he going to try to start the fight with Naruto? Because he doesn't have the curse mark to influence him in this version. I still think that, A, he would still start the fight with Naruto, but nowhere near as like, fight me right now. It's like, Naruto. It's more like he actually asks, like, Naruto, when, um, when I get out of here, I want to I have a match with you. I need to know. I need to know just how far you come and how far compare and how far I've come. I need to know how much stronger I need to get. And you know, Naruto's just like he's like, yeah. Like, Are you sure about it? Yeah. No. Cool. I mean, you know, I'm always down for a match, man. You know that. I don't want you holding back either. Yeah. And eventually they'll get Kakashi to arrange it, and so they'll meet at training on seven. So I think that yes, they'll still have their match, but no, it will not be in the same terms that happened originally. Uh, originally. So, anyway, that's that's my part six for this series. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified, and I'll catch you folks for the next one.